How about this? Do you guys want to learn something about G? I mean, you guys already know, you see me do this, but I think a lot of people don't really understand how the fuzzy works with G. And I think it's one of the coolest parts of this character. And it's also why G fights G so well. Definitely a 6-4 in G favor. So I'll teach you guys a little bit about the fuzzy. A fuzzy is a situation where you are in a true block string, but you can get hit with a high or low on the same frame, which in practice means you are blocking and then you have to guess high low and it's not like there's a gap where you can reversal out of it. You're pretty much just in the block string and you gotta guess. But usually the fuzzy refers to getting hit with the overhead while you're crouching. Uh, I'll first demonstrate why this works together. The move used to do the fuzzy is light kick with G and it only works on tall characters. So you gotta like look at characters that um, can actually get hit by jumping light kick from the ground. And if you see here, if I just jump up and press light kick, it actually hits G in the head. On a lot of other characters, that doesn't happen. It'll, it'll just whiff. So this works on uh, Abigail, G, Geef, Birdie, Urian, characters that are considered tall in this game. So if you can do this to the character, you can do this fuzzy. The best way to set it up is from a, a jumping attack. So I'm gonna have the dummy do crouch and guard all. So when you land this jump in, you're super meaty and you're in their face. So at this point, you can either go for a crouching light kick, hit them low, or you can immediately hold up and press light kick. But it's kind of weird, right? Because I have the dummy set to crouch um, and you can see here when the dummy's crouching, the jump light kick will not connect. This is where uh, the fuzzy part comes into play. Even though you're holding down back, it hits. So the dummy is definitely set to crouch block, right? So it will not stand block. Like if you see here, if I go do a low or do a mid, they're crouching. But if I do the instant overhead, the fuzzy here, they're stand blocking. So there's like a hidden technique in this game. When you are transitioning from stand block to crouch block, there's actually one frame where even though you look like you're crouching, you can still get hit by standing or high moves. And uh, that's why if you do this, in the transition from standing, there's one frame where your hurt box is still up high, but your animation is down low. So what is this set up? The dirtiest part is this all works together really well. Now I have him uh, doing a move after blocking the jump in. So now you can see, even though he's on guard all, he gets hit by the instant overhead now. And this is where the mix begins. So the part that I didn't mention is that the light kick in the air can combo from light kick to V skill. And this is where the shenanigans begin. So when you get the fuzzy, just cancel like it the V skill and you can get a juggle here. You can get another V skill if you're in the corner. In the corner, you can also do heavy kick that works mid screen as well. Don't mess it up. Or you can do towards fierce punch. Get Oki after. And if you want to spend a bar, go for one of these if you're already in level three you can do that meterless really powerful really powerful uh but the best part is definitely when you're in the corner let me turn this on because when you're in the corner you can pretty much loop the situation over and over again if you do v skill to v skill you just hold up and you get the same safe jump again. You might have to manually delay it in case they back rise or quick roll, so you can pay attention to what they do. But you get to loop this pretty much. So now, if they start respecting the high low, or the high, you can eventually start going low, spend the bar to the V skill, set it up again. But normally they would be holding um, back there so they get hit low. So now they have to actually guess high low. And the next layer, is that command grab also sets it up. So the low takes meter to set it up again if you're in level if you're not in level three. But basically from every combo ender you go into, if you can set up the um, V skill ender, which launch, launches them high in the air, you get the safe jump set up and you can do it again. If you're in level two, I mean, this one is pretty much the same regardless of level. 
But if you go for command grab and level two, you can do like this. And just keep looping it. So it's pretty messed up. The options just keep coming. And even cooler than that is that it's not just an offensive tool. So when you're using this, this tactic, you can also use it defensively. This is one of my favorite usages of it, actually. So say you want to guess when somebody's doing um, a throw on you. One option to escape throws is just holding up back. Like you, do, you don't want to guess with a shimmy, right? Up, up back will be throws and shimmies, but you can also make this beat several options by just guessing with this. This will be command grab and, and shimmy and throw. The other thing is you don't have to do this while jumping forward. You can do it neutral jumping. Back jumping, you have to be kind of more point blank. It doesn't always connect, but you can do it on certain characters with certain setups. So I did jump back, but if you notice on the jump back, it actually alters your jump bar. Whenever you do V skill, it brings you back down forward. So I'm doing jump back. If I don't clip them, I just jump away and I'm probably gonna be safe unless they react in time like a god, right? But I jump back and I get the same conversion. And on block, this isn't even like that on save. If you do jump back on block, the jump back is actually only like negative one or zero because on jump back, it hits on a later actor frame. See, that was negative three. But it can go from like negative four to negative, that was zero, right? So sometimes this is often safe. Even if they block it. I mean, that's a huge turnaround, especially if you're just mid screen. You can do this at activation. Mid screen, you can do like towards spheres, activate. It's totally your turn to be suddenly being smacked by G, activation, and the super. And then you're in some of the worst mix ever. But it's definitely great, especially against characters like Yurian, because on Yurian, he has a down charge reversal. But if you use this safe jump setup over and over, it actually kills their down charge. They have to hold back because if you safe jump the headbutt, you'll block the EX headbutt. So when you get them into the corner, you do the setup on them, on the knockdown, they actually cannot EX headbutt. So they keep getting mixed like a character with no reversal. So you do this on Yurian, for instance. They can't headbutt you here. So it totally eliminates the EX headbutt option from Yurian. And you're basically just running your offensive train. High, low, and command grab, and regular throw guess. So it's pretty dirty. And one of the coolest parts about G, I think, like it just looks so badass and lots of ways to optimize it. Interesting V trigger conversions. So definitely one of the most stylish ways to, to mix up your opponent.